Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today what I want to talk about is uh, a little bit about particle systems, especially in relationship to uh, creating um, fur. In this case, we're going to be using it for this rug here. Uh, so I'm going to select the rug and I'm just going to kind of um, isolate it. So I'm going to go Alt H or wait, I'm sorry. Select it. Control I H. Okay. So now we're just looking at our rug here. And this is just an image that I took from um, the uh, manufacturer actually of my rug. So this is the rug that's in the room. And we're going to add a particle system to it. So first we're going to go to modifiers here, add a modifier. And I'm going to look for a particle system. Here we go. Particle system is now attached. And then under the particles, so, uh, settings are in the particles tab. So we'll go to the particles tab here. And then I'm going to go to hair. I'm going to call this rug. Okay. Select hair. And then you can see <laughs> it's a little too hairy, right? Uh, so we're going to change some stuff. But we're also going to be doing some advanced calculations and stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and select advanced here. Um, and then I'm going to change the number here to 300,000. Um, and then I'm going to change the seeds to one and I'm going to do 0 0.02 M for meters, just cause that's the setting I typically use. And that's going to give me the length. And you see when I put the M there, it does transpose it to uh, feet cause those are the units we're in. And you can see already we're starting to look pretty good here. But we've got to add a little bit of, um, I guess, chaos to the deal here. So I'm going to do 30 segments. And I'm going to close my source here. I don't need that. Let's go to hmm, hmm, velocity. And just make sure we're all right here. So I'm going to go 0 0.005 M per S. That should transposed. Cool. Zero is good there. Zero, 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 zero. All good. Okay. And then under rotation, I'm not doing anything. Under physics, what kind of physics are we going to use here? And this is fit under the physics tab. You've got um, Newtonian selected here. And I'm going to do one kilogram. It's like the weight. OK. And then leave all of this the same, except for the dampness. I'm going to go 0 0.01 on the dampness. And oh, good old um, Brownian motion. We'll do a 0 0.005. Yeah, yeah. Why not? And you can see that now there's a bit of randomness to the uh, bend of the um, hair that's on here, right? And this will work also for grass. So um, just changing the shape. I think most of these settings are pretty good also for grass. All right. And as we kind of move down here a little bit more, let's go to hair shape. Okay, under the hair shape here, um, I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to do 0 0.05 hmm. meters. And then for the tip, I'm going to do 0 0.03 meters. And that just is going to give it a little bit of a taper. And then the diameter scale, I'm going to do 0 0.07. Okay. And then we're going to play with gravity here. I'm going to do 0.7. And 0.7 as well here.
and that's basically all of my settings. So um, if I switch into a rendered view here, you get to see it like with the thickness of the fur and all of that. So it looks pretty shaggy. This is a wool rug, so I think it, it actually looks pretty good like this. Yeah, so very nice. So that's kind of how you can add some physics. So if I go Alt H to bring everything back, Once it renders out for a little while, it should look really, really very nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's rendered. You can see the rug looks furry. Okay, we've got a um, nice texture to the rug. And like I said before, this kind of principle can also be applied to other things like grass. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this uh, has been helpful, and uh, thank you very much.